Hello there, I'm AJ Puzzle Fresh, and welcome back to Starpoint Gemini 3. Now, we are currently in the system that we, we just re-entered again in the last episode, and I'm headed over to this multi-ops diplomatic mission, where we can do some missions because there is actually a bar! Wonderful. So, let's see what the bartender's got for yes. us. Yes, what do you want, human? I want a job. Give me a job. Come on, hand it over. Ooh, looks like they've still got phones in this place. Nah. Let's I'm see. looking for a pilot capable of inflicting serious damage to unwanted ships. All right, Am that I sounds like me. To the right person. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. So, what is it? It's only worth three thousand six hundred. Now, this is very sort of. Um, what would you call it? Deceptive. Because the 3,600 is, of course, just what he will give you for completing the mission. Uh, whereas, actually, you'll probably get better money by selling all of the stuff that you find in the process. That looked like... Hang on, wait a minute. What the heck's that? Cool. It's like there's, there's robo-people in this game. I wouldn't know. I've not actually tried the... Um, the previous two games and I'm really tempted because they 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 look quite cool uh, but yeah um, I might have to try them later because yes in the meanwhile we have a mission to do so let's get over there and wipe these people out it, a lot of the missions at the bar at the moment do tend to be wipe people out or um, repair this or repair that but there are emergent missions as well i.e. you will be going somewhere and suddenly you will see a, a bunch of people and they might not approve of you so you go and you wipe them out or uh, other, other, other things ah there's outlaws here Every opportunity to grab some more stuff is worth taking. So... You! Stop being outlaws. Stop being dust in space. <laughs> okay. Anyone else? Yeah. Free items. Okay. I... I at, at the beginning, I thought that, you know, my shield seemed impenetrable and would never run out. But... Uh, you, you can lose your shields pretty quick if you're not careful. Also, I'm playing this in incredibly easy mode for wimps. Uh, and as such, I'm sure that in other modes, my shields would go down much quicker. Also, if I drive into asteroids like I keep doing, that probably doesn't help either. <laughs> you, you be gone. I never give my... Um, guns much time to recharge and they really should be given the time to recharge because otherwise they just they just take forever hey get get deaded come on do you just stop going in circles i mean it's exactly what i was doing but you know they don't seem to like face you as they're going in circles so they don't seem to use the strafe themselves Whereas I use the strafe virtually all the time so that I can go around them while shooting them. It would be interesting if they were given that ability, but at the same time, if they could do it too, then I would be history in no time. I could do with setting my uh, missiles as well. I know I've got some. Hmm, let's have a look, actually. Because I know I have missiles. This is not the menu for the missiles. Oh, wait, no, it is. I need to look at the controls, don't I? So let's have a look at the controls. And selecting your missiles is... G! G! Okay, I can remember G, maybe. I mean, I didn't remember it the first time, but uh, but I, I should be able to remember it. So, yes. G! G did... Yes! 40 missiles. Excellent. Spearhead. I've not tried these yet, so this should be interesting. Ah, rats. There's already a missile coming in my direction. Get out of here. Their missiles mercifully don't seem to do much, which I'm very pleased with because I do get hit by a lot of missiles. Oh, there goes half of my shield. Wonderful. That was probably me driving into that uh, asteroid. Did that home in? Yes, it did. And that was a yellow... Oh, wow, look at all of my shields going. That's that... Um, there's a sort of shotgun-esque type, type shot that they have. Uh, and that shreds my shields in seconds, so I've got to be I've got to be a bit careful with that. What's that? It's another type of bomb. 
That's because I was following them. Oh heck! Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that. What, what? What the heck? Get off me! Something has ruined my vision. I, that's the first time I've come across that, so that's quite fun. <laughs> Get off! Ooh, did I just shoot a missile down with a missile? And what's all that stuff that they just fired out into space? This is a most interesting group of enemies. I hope it isn't followed by a second one, because they do tend to do that. They uh, they'll they'll shoot you with loads of people, and then you'll you'll get rid of that group, and then there'll be another group directly after. Oh heck! Hello there, other group I was hoping to avoid. Actually, I haven't had a look at these ships properly. These little ships look quite nice too. <laughs> I do like looking at all of the ships. I wish I could, um, I know that they're going to include a lot more ships, I think. A lot more ship parts. I'm not too sure if I've, um, missed any, um, ship parts in different places, because I've not been to, um, sort of different sectors yet. I've only been to two, two, two or so places. They are going to wipe me out, aren't they? Oh, go away. Here, have a missile. I'll give you another one for free. If, if, if I'm lucky. At least I'm getting a chance to see their ships a bit. It's because I'm not charging my guns up. I want to charge. I want to shoot. That's my problem. I want to shoot all the time. I don't want to uh, spend ages charging my guns. Hmm. I just upgraded my guns. Or my, my energy banks. Uh, they're set so that um, they have more stored energy. And I think that actually I need it to I need it to be less stored energy and more um, recharge the way I fight things. Here, I've, is what is that chaff? It looked like chaff. Something to stop our missiles from from actually hitting them. Ah, now they're going round in circles. Ha ha ha! I can beat you at this game. This is definitely something I win at. <laughs> Oh, it went for the wrong missile. Brilliant. Okay, so the chaff is fully functional. That's good. Why haven't I got it? Maybe that's a, a, a thing that I can add later. I don't know. Go on. I'm going to use up all my missiles because basically I never use these sorts of things. There. I've, been, I've just been not using my missiles for about, I don't know, ages. Ages in a day. I've just not been using my missiles. Lovely! So I get loads of stuff and uh, and that as well. Brilliant. But what I really wanted to do, uh, I've checked out a few places. I think that was um, there that we were, or maybe we were over here. I don't know. The civilian places with the civilian bars, they tend to let you in a lot better than the other places. I don't know if the military places... Uh, oh, that's industrial. That's, that's different. Hmm. That's the multi-ops embassy. That's the one that we were at. Okay. So what's this one? Is this this is civilian, legal and civilian. I don't know if this one's got a. It says it's got a bar, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's got a bar. Uh, let's go check it out and see if it's uh, actually a place that I can do stuff in, or if it's just a place. So uh, I'm I'm sort of wondering if um, your reputation. I will destroy you. No, you won't. I'm going to fly straight past. See ya. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, I'm sort of wondering if your reputation makes a difference on whether you are allowed an, into the bar or not. Um, in which case, some of these places might not be allowing me into the bar because of my reputation. What's this? Goons! Another goon. Hmm. Okay. You are dead because you are an outlaw. Yeah. <laughs> I am, I am making it myself popular with the outlaws by killing them. <laughs> when I say popular, I mean they hate me. Why can't I target that one? Sometimes you can't target stuff because you're a little bit too close to it. Sometimes you can't target it because my mouse button doesn't work. Hmm. That's more like it. There we go. Get through the shield and then I'll fire some missiles at you. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, that did well. I win with you too. Hmm, the missiles are worth it. Maybe I should save the missiles and use them better. 
Okay, this guy has lost his day. Brilliant! More stuff for me! I really need to get using the, um, the various things that I pick up to try and make stuff. Because I've been picking up blueprints all over the place. Oh, hello. Just a load of trade ships going through. I could totally attack those and uh, and try and nick all of their stuff, but uh, I feel bad going and, and obliterating trade ships. Hello there. Is this another? Oh, that's multi-ops. Okay. Who are they against this time? Outlaws! Ha 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 That means more outlaw stuff for me. Ooh, this one's strong. Yeah. Yay! Brilliant. Okay. I'm kind of glad that I'm playing this on easy because I really think that uh, given the opportunity to get myself destroyed in no time at all, I would probably do it with uh, with more difficult modes. But I should test out the more difficult modes, so I might uh, I might at some stage see if um, see if it's a difficulty slider that can actually be like immediately changed. But uh, I might leave it a bit before I do that because scary. <laughs> I don't really fancy getting myself blown up. I just want to see what it's like at a different at a different um, difficulty. I really think. That, oh, hello! Is that a um? That's an anomaly. Awesome! I don't totally know what scanning the anomalies does for you yet. Well, great. Did that seriously just annihilate my shields? Who did that? How did that happen? Was it the anomaly? Let's scan the anomaly, get rid of it, and see if we can get our shields back. Alright, I know my shields are down. I'm aware of this. I'm scanning the anomaly. That is what we are doing. There. Anomaly gone. Now, can I get my shields back? Yes. Brilliant. What's all this? There's so many of these emergent um, activities just appearing all over the place. This is Liebland, and these are Liebland, so this is all uh, security and stuff. And then we've got Liebland the Tempest? Hmm. Shadow, a uh, multi-ops. Okay, so they might be... They're, they're probably just, like, fighting their competitors, but uh, I'm, I'm not going to get involved in that. So I don't need to. Let's have a look at our um, faction thing. Yes, brilliant. Okay, so the Outlaws... I've done a very good job of making the Outlaws dislike me more. So, uh, yeah, that's going down dramatically. Um, you can tell the um, the various factions, if you click on them somewhere, I can think it might be here. Is it here? Ah, it's there. You can see what their enemies are and what their allies are, so that's really helpful to deciding which groups you're going to be a part of. So, uh, the Dogons, the allies are the Exterans. Uh, and I've got to, I've got a bit of rep with the Exterons, and I've got a bit of rep with the uh, the Dogons, uh, and they don't like the Templars and the Outlaws. So I've been destroying Outlaws. I've not really destroyed many Templars. They still hate me with a passion, and I don't really know what this means. Obviously, I know it. I know they hate me, uh, and that's that's quite clear. But uh, I I don't know exactly what these little points mean because there's there there are specific points all the way along i don't know if this means like we won't let you um land at our stations or um we're going to target you on site uh these sorts of things could be what these notches mean but without any sort of visual description of what these notches mean i have no idea i mean it should be that you, uh, maybe they'll add it later maybe if you can click on those and they can tell you what that means but uh, at the moment no idea so as i said it could be that some of these stations that we're finding i can't get into the bar because i've not got onto a notch on the system as it were but the dogons uh they obviously tiny bit in that direction and the exteriors were doing well Multi-ops, they were down previously. I'd got them to about here, and, uh, and well, they appear to like me a bit now. So I've been doing a few things for the, uh, the multi-ops. The Nexus, I don't know. Okay, so their enemies are Liebeland and the Outlaws, and they're fine with multi-ops. So actually, I can be popular with those and those. Yeah, I can be popular with everybody but the Outlaws and the Templars, I think. I don't know whether there's any but don't like multi-ops and... Okay, so Liebeland don't like multi-ops, Nexus and the Templars. 
So that would explain what I'm why I'm neutral with those because I'm being I'm trying to get as many people on side with me as possible. Uh, so yeah, it does make sense for them to uh, be a little bit wary of me if I'm uh, if I'm being friendly with all of their uh, competition and their other, their other people. But they don't they don't hate them. They just like why are you siding with them? That type of thing. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if we, whether we went to this station before or not. I can't remember. I'd, I'd actually want to um, head into the Earth area because I'm, I'm quite curious to see what that's like. Hello there. Okay, you're just multi op so I will ignore you totally. Is this this the Liebelin? Yeah, this is the Liebelin dog. I don't know what the multi ops are doing around the Liebelin dog. Probably trying to destroy their trade vessels, I suspect. Okay. Let's go in. Duck. Ah, okay, so I can't get to the bar. I know that there is a bar here, it's just not available for me. All right then. Fine, I'll trade. Now, what can I sell? Everything is usually my uh, approach. Yes, let's sell it all. I, I will work on the blueprints and the uh, and the other things at some point, but at the moment the money is uh, is kind of helpful <laughs> or I just want it so yeah <laughs> now let's go to the dry dock I really want to get back to my weapon battery is it the weapon battery yeah I think so so this I thought brilliant yeah this will have the current one it'll have 500 in uh, in that uh, and it'll charge in how long does it charge 30 seconds okay actually I don't know this all right, that's just, that's forty per second, right? So actually, forty-five per second might be better because it's just charging up faster. Uh, it it's considerably cheaper than the one that we've got. So it kind of makes you feel like you should be using this one, but actually, having your shields, your your weapons charge up fast is really helpful. Hmm. 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 I spent a lot of money getting that a while back. I don't know. I don't know what's better. Arr. I'm gonna go with this again because I, I. It may seem like a really bad idea, but having it charge up quick is actually very helpful, at least in my experience. Okay, so we've got that. Let's look at the map and head over to the star point. If we can get it on the map. Yes, brilliant. Okay. Let's head over there. We earned quite a lot of stuff from all of those uh, those various little uh, fighting experience. What's this? Oh, that's a Liebeland refinery. And this over here. I always like to know what everything is. I mean, I know it's on the map. It's here. I can see it whenever I like. But I like to actually look at them because it's uh, it's it's quite nice to see the, all of the variety of the stations and... Uh, and and what they're up to. What's this? It's just like a satellite. Oh, it's multi-ops. Okay, I won't destroy that then. <laughs> there are some fancy multi-ops um, satellites around the place that look really cool. There's uh, there's one that's um, got a little sort of star-shaped pattern to it, uh, and it's it's very nice. I like it. Oh, there it is! Brilliant! Ooh, well, we'll just head around there. Just just I just want to see the satellite because it's cool. And then, then we'll head to the uh, to the thing over there. Hello there. You're probably uh, you're probably rogues, but uh, what's this? Oh, another anomaly. Okay, please do not wipe out my shields in the process. I just want to scan you. That's all I'm doing. Look at all the little bits of like stuff going around it. It's really cool. Okay. Brilliant. Okay, I, I wish I knew what scanning those did. It feels like I'm doing something good with it, but uh, I, I'm, I'm not entirely sure what scanning them does. If it gives you anything in your inventory or just data to go and be sold somewhere, I don't know. Here we go. So this is the multi-op satellite. Holocom satellite multi-ops. Just look at this thing. I mean, that is one fancy satellite. Just imagine how much data that must be uh, chucking around the universe. What's it got on it? Oh, outlaws. Okay, I'm, I don't need to protect this. I really don't because uh, although I'm I'm trying to earn rep with the multi-op people, 
It's, uh, it doesn't really matter. I'm, it's not that important to me. I'm just flying around looking at things at the moment. Anyway, here we go. Aye, aye. There is a massive ship just in front of the thing. Let's have a look at that thing. because I've not seen too many massive ships. Okay, stop. Stop. I am looking at you slowly. Okay, so we need to speed that up a bit. There we go. Wow. What's this? So it's got the viewing ports. Hmm. <laughs> you can't see through them at the moment, by the looks of it. This ship looks cool. I should select it and see what it is. I'm sure it'll tell me. It looks like it's got a um, a docking bay at the side. What's the thing at the bottom? What's this about? Oh, now that looks like a, a um, bridge, doesn't it? At the bottom. It's a strange place to put a bridge, but uh, it does look a bit like a bridge. Also, this looks like a BFG, if you look at it. It's got the uh, the, the, the handle thing that you would have there, and then it's got the uh, it's, it's got all of the, the BFG-looking thing about it. I do like Doom. <laughs> okay. Brilliant. Okay, let's go into the um, gate and see if we can get to Earth. I'm pretty sure we can get to Earth. The star, the uh, the star point thing is pretty nice as it as it is as well. Right, so Earth, come on, brilliant. Okay, so we go to Earth and space to jump. Aha! And out we pop in the Earth area. Ooh, Italy and um, Africa. Nice. Okay, what's around? Nexus. I haven't come across a lot of Nexus. Oh, hello. Wow, you're big. Oh, hello. You've got a load of uh, um, Templars as well. They don't like me, you know. Hmm. I'm going to have a look at this because this is cool. Actually, you know, the, the smaller ships, I've seen a lot of smaller ships that have this sort of design. The, uh, the little two, two prong things. I wonder if there's any around. I can't see. Was oh, it? Is that? Look at that. That's a cool little ship. <laughs> I do like the ship designs in this game. And I so like that you can pause the game and have a look at them. That's that's like the best thing. Because I, 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 it's so many times in things, I've just you just don't get a chance to look at things. And I do like to look at things because I absolutely love design. Uh, and, uh, and, and how amazing people can make things look. So it, it, is, it is pretty awesome. Look at that. Get Earth in the background. And the nice ship with the very weird propulsion system. It's just like they've got a gyroscope that they've just attached to the back of their ship. That is how we will get through space with a gyroscope. <laughs> Maybe it works. I don't know. I don't know much about space travel, which is uh, silly, really. <laughs> I've watched enough Star Trek to know know a little bit about uh, uh, fake space travel. Uh, but, uh, you know, hmm, I like that ship. That's cool. Okay, so it looks like I'm in a fight. I just hope that I'm not against enemies that are too dangerous. Please do not destroy me. Ah, you see, my, uh, my, my shots. I say my shots. My, uh, my gun thingy, the, the cooldown for it. Uh, it does very quickly, as, as opposed to the uh, the one that had more, uh, and then uh, and then took ages to recharge. Okay, you are done. Yeah, I think it's more effective. I do think it's more effective, which is strange because it costs less. It costs less, and but because I just like spray bullets everywhere, it does seem to just be helpful. You. Enjoy the missile. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, so let's have a look at this system. Oh, there's a lot of places that will target me immediately on sight. That's going to be fun. So I shall have to check out those places. And there's there's quite a lot for us to uh, to look at. I don't know if you can land on Earth or not. Uh, because uh, obviously it's, it doesn't seem to have anything to it yet. Okay, it doesn't seem to have anything to it yet, but there's all sorts of different um, 
stations around here that we can check out. So we'll check out those stations in the next episode. In the meanwhile, you take care. Thanks for watching. Feel free to watch other things on my channel. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye for now.